with wouldn't have attacked them had Gratch not attacked first. I think that I think that could be very true. I think that they think he's a th- like I, I think maybe they're natural predator, pre- you know, uh, enemies. What do you call oh, it? Oh, that could very well be. But I we but, just we uh, didn't get the chance to see whether or not they would have attacked. No, I agree. I'm just saying I think that it just has something to do with like he can see them when nobody else can. So they they're I don't know. Like it's instinctual type shit. Like he doesn't like them and they don't like him. They're there so they're going to have to die. Yeah. That I don't know. Maybe not. But that's that's maybe where I'm thinking. Well, and I can see where you're coming from. It's just like a dog chasing a truck. Yeah. He, he's just going to. He's or a just squirrel. going to. Or a squirrel. Oh, oh, the squirrels. Yeah. Loki has a heyday with those. But he can't help it. And the squirrels hate him He sees it take back. off and he's, yeah. Then they run up in the tree and shake their tail. <laughs> and chirp at him. <laughs> if they had three bladed knives, they'd probably attack him back. You know? They do, Jade. They stab him with their eyes. Yeah. Well, and they're in their little shoot. Ch- Chirpy little fucking trash talk. Anyways, at this point in the fight, a door opens up and we see a small silhouette emerge. This is this is Holly. Okay, she's heard some commotion and come outside. Well, this is her coming outside. I don't even know if it's from the commotion, but it's from her saying, I'm not going to watch this oh, torture. I'm going God, outside. Yeah. So she was just headed out and she happened upon this battle. <laughs> Oh, shit, not much better out like, here, huh? <laughs> yeah, go bad for worse, or from bad to worse. Like, well, this is not what I thought I was getting into. I was going to go stand by the ledge, you know, relax, get some fresh air. No. Yell into the wind about how frustrated I am at her for, for torturing that old lady. Right. So the Mariz with charge past Zed, knocking him over as a rush scratch. Zed releases a ball of fire and kills a few of them, but the last thing we see before Zed's head hits the stone is a group of Marizwith with Gratch in the middle tumbling over the wall and out of sight. Gratch has wings, though, bitch. He does have wings, but, like, if he's all... If he got bum-rushed... No, I agree. And he's surrounded by Marizwith, then he's fallen off, and he can't... Like, he's already exhausted. He couldn't lift Zed without the spell, so he's damn sure not gonna, like... Swing up with a Marizwith hanging no, on to man, him. No, man, I agree. I agree. I'm just saying. It does not look good for our buddy Cratch. It doesn't. But if it was a wingless creature, I would be a lot more sure they weren't coming back. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, even then, you could get the, the you know, grab onto the ledge. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a creature with wings. Do we really think he's not going to fucking pull it out at the end? I, I don't think he does. I don't know. I'm holding out hope. So whatever. You could you could not think all you want. Gratch is gonna be I'm fine. I'm a cynic though. No, Gratch is gonna I mean, be fine. It's just awful seeing Gratch go over the wall with the Marizwith. Like we know he's tired. We know he doesn't have the energy, and then he's gone. Now Holly doesn't know what she just saw. Zed just met the guy for the first time, you know. So he's not even that attached. The only person in the world who really, truly cares. I mean, okay, maybe not the only person, but Richard is not with him right now. And so Richard just sent off his best friend now for how long, and he's not coming back as far as we know. And it's sad. No, it is sad. And I agree with you. And and he has been working his ass off very hard, so he is very tired. And I know... uh, He's a good boy. It's sad, and I, I get that. I just, I don't want him to be gone. So. But he has wings, so cross your fingers. Yes, that's why I'm just like, no, he, he's coming back, man. I, I will add, too, that in the last episode, we talked about would you pour out a beer for a fictional character? Hey, cheers, Jadie's getting another one already. <laughs> um, And I think we decided, no, we wouldn't pour one out, but we would totally have a beer for a uh, a fictional character. So even if he's not gone, he fought bravely yes. and... Cheers to Gratch. Cheers to Gratch. Does that mean this is the beer break? Well, you already got your second, so I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, tonight we are actually not reviewing the thing we're drinking right now because the thing we're drinking right now isn't technically beer. But anyways, last night I got to enjoy some Saugatuck Brewing 
Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Neapolitan Milk Stout. <laughs> That's a long name. Yeah. I got it, though. I got it out. <laughs> and it was delicious. I got it off out of tap. And in a little tiny fucking snifter glass, because it's 10%, and that's all I give it to you in. But it was delicious. <laughs> I had two, and I was feeling very, very fine when I came home. Yes, you were. Jade was celebrating leaving her job <laughs> at the the vet clinic that's not just the, down the, the road. That's the word I would use. <laughs> the, the best job in the world, according to her. Yeah. Uh, she loved it very, very much, so she went out with some coworkers and had a few drinks last night. And that's one of the things she had. And she was having all the feels when she came home. Yep. And it was <laughs> wonderful. Yep. I came home and drunkenly cried a lot. <laughs> but it was great beer. And I would definitely recommend if you can get your hands on it. Yeah, I yeah, I want it now. <laughs> it looked great. Yeah, it was. Oh, I was gonna say I'm waiting for Jade to say, so we're gonna get another one and we'll be back. She already got her other one. Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna get another one because I need one, and we will be back right after this. Yeah. Cheers. And we are back. Although just a little, little teeny tiny piece of me wishes that we weren't. Maybe not oh. here. Oh. Somewhere else. It, in the story. You mean. In the story. Okay. No. Okay. I like, okay. I like our podcast time. This is, I got my, my fresh like, drink. It's nice and cold. <laughs> I was like, what are you trying to say right now? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. We're back. I don't want to be. <laughs> well, have a good night, everybody. No. No, I, no, that's not it at all. <laughs> so we are back inside the keep, and Anne is just about to lose hope when Holly opens the door and drags Zed's unconscious form inside. He's out cold. He's bleeding from his head. Never a good sign. Nope. It, it doesn't look very good for him either. Now, we know he hit his head on the ground hard. Yeah. And that could be, a, like, a very severe injury, but, yeah, we don't know how bad it is. No. Well, he's obviously just not awake. The longer you're unconscious, though, I was pretty sure the worse it was for you. Yeah, no, being knocked unconscious is, like, super bad for you. Yeah, and, like, it's worse the longer you are unconscious, correct? I believe so, okay. yeah. Even a few seconds is, like, Bad it's not for good. your brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It means you got hit so hard, your brain had to take a time out for a minute. Oh, gosh. That's yeah. not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's serious. So she tells Vale that the Mrizwith are all dead, along with the Gar that they were fighting. Surprised, didn't know there was a Gar out yeah. there. Good to know. Thanks. Um, and yeah, I like that because we think that these people are working in tandem with the Mrizwith. And she's like, yeah, they're they're all dead. Everybody's dead. Yeah. This is the only person who survived, and even he got bashed in the head, and it's not looking super great for him either. And she also thinks that this man is a wizard, because he was throwing fireballs and, like, shooting air at people. And Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. Uh... I, I would think so. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just a damn good magician. Which, I didn't see any mirrors or I, strings. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I would argue is also a wizard in their own right, because if you're that good, you know. I'm a wizard too. Yeah, I I'm know. A pinball wizard. Oh, are you gonna start singing? Do you want me to? Yeah. Pass. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hearing this, Anne loses all hope, and here is where we learn that she was supposed to be saved by a wizard. I think we kind of like she kind of alluded to it, but we weren't sure which wizard she meant. It was a he, and that's all we really knew. Yeah. But because it was specifically male and in the keep it was wizard not sorceress you know what i mean oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's where i was at with it like okay so it's got to be i didn't it, it didn't i'm sorry it she didn't specifically say that it would be a magic person so it could have just been a dude like we were saying a few chapters ago chase just kicks open the door and been like what's up i'm here to save you could yeah. be him i think i just i think in my brain i kept thinking it was richard because they were following richard 
when she started talking about it. Yeah. So it made me like subliminally think that she meant Richard, I think. I think maybe it was on purpose and it by Terry. <laughs> would make sense too. He's the, the pebble in the pond. You know, he has a lot to do with the prophecy, so they're following him around. He hey, we know you people. escaped from here and you figured out how to take off your Rada Han, but we actually need to put you on a mission now. <laughs> so so they enter tangle themselves back into his life she did it once before yeah she's done it many times you know so i can i totally follow your train of thought yeah um but it doesn't look like she's gonna be saved now not by like she assumes that was the wizard (laughs) yeah there he is so totally fucked yeah and she spins a little bit right she's like nathan was right she had messed around with prophecy one too many times, and finally she had gotten bit. Like, this is it. I've gone too far this time. Yeah. Boy, you really got yourself into it this time, <laughs> didn't you, Anne? Womp womp. <laughs> so Holly says she brought him in here to be helped. The Val, oh no, she's too far gone now. Wizard's got to die too. Sorry, kiddo. I do kind of picture this like playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Because you're out in the Badlands, like out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And you see the bad guy and you're like, all right, I got a bounty on this guy's head. So you you come up to him. And I mean, granted, it's a rifle and it's loud. So you shoot him. It makes noise. But somebody notices that you've shot a man. Doesn't ask if it's a bounty or not. But it doesn't matter. See, because if that person then rides into town and says, hey, I just saw a guy shoot another guy. The cops are on you. So you got. You have no choice, Jade, but to follow that man and kill him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then somebody else sees you kill him. So you got to follow that guy. And before you know it, you've got like 60 bodies in a field somewhere. And you're like, this has gotten way out of hand. I kind of feel, I feel like, like that's maybe where Val's at. you took a couple wrong turns in your decision making <laughs> when you were what? playing that what? game. When you had piles of... Because I saw you do that more than once, too. So I feel like... I feel like you just like <laughs> amassing uh, body piles. But anyways. <laughs> I I never piled them. I hid them very well. Mm. I, I saw you in a police station once where the that entire bottom of the police station was full of people. Oh, the jail. Yeah. Well, that might be another podcast for another day. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just, just so I remember. There was a pile. <laughs> My record was 63. (laughs) Anyways, just as Val raises the knife to stab Anne, a sword bursts through Val's chest. Of course. And Nathan, of all people, puts a boot to her back to yank the sword free. (laughs) So she was saved by a wizard. Yeah, the most badass of all ways, too. He didn't save her. (laughs) He didn't save her by being a wizard. No, not at all. And... And this is why Nathan has the sword. Yeah, this is why he needs the sword, because he doesn't have magic. This is why all Nathans should carry swords. Uh, okay, I don't disagree with you. But I do think it's interesting, though, that like she cuts him off from his magic, and it's a valid reason for him to have that fucking sword, because he does yeah. not have any defenses, and he's a fucking prophet. So it's not like he's like a fighter anyways. So having a sword is like the bare minimum that this dude should should have. I feel like it did kind of remind me of like in in Harry Potter. We've talked about this before, right? If they don't have their wand, their magic is pretty well useless. Mm -hmm. Like there are some spells that you don't need to use a wand for. I understand that. But for the most part, if they don't have their wand, their power level goes down like 90 percent. Well, I think it also depends on your skill level as a wizard to be able to cast those spells yeah that could very well be but then it's the same thing with like nathan right now he doesn't have his gift right he doesn't have his wand essentially so how is he going to defend himself or her and or her no that's a very good point and people give him shit because he's got the sword but he's like yeah yeah it looks dashing to me this was a very smart move yeah, by nathan that's what I'm saying. he's like oh i just like the way it looks but secretly he's like but i don't have the use of my gift right now and i'm not letting him get me yeah and he and she also joked about him fucking practicing with it in the room at night and that's no 
Dude's been practicing up. He's been trying to, yeah. to be trained for moments like this. You're not letting me out in the yard to practice on one of the dummies out there. So, yeah, I'm gonna, you're going to catch me playing with my sword in my room. Yep, I'm going to be whipping it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> so, Anne starts sobbing like a child. She's been saved, and she's grateful to be alive. 